Hi, this is just a short video to illustrate some of the factory design suite functionality within Vault Professional 2017. <clears throat> As you may or may not be aware, there have been some nice enhancements to the factory design suite and Vault uh, interaction. So it's a little bit easier now to manage the assets inside of Vault, publish to the Vault, pull them out of Vault, and edit from the Vault. So I'm not going to go through the configuration of the Vault to accept factory content. We can talk about that or cover that in a different video or there's lots of information about that on the web. But I just want to give a, a concise little demonstration of how this will work. So what I've done is I've already logged into the Vault. So I already have a Vault session going and I'm working in Inventor. <clears throat> so I've gone in and I've gone to the user assets area and I found an old demo asset that I, I've used in the past. And it's actually really simple once you've logged into Vault to move the assets over to Vault. So if I right click on it, <clears throat> I have the option to move or copy. So if I use move, it will actually take this from my user asset area and will push it right into the Vault library assets, which I'll show you in a second. <clears throat> if I choose the copy option, that will leave a copy in the user asset area, but then also put a copy into the vault asset library. So if we click on the move, this brings up a dialog box and you can see here there's a new radio button called vault. So if we click on the vault, it will either prompt us to log in or since I'm already logged into the vault, we can then look at some of these different categories. So there's a folder here that's been created called Custom Factory Assets, and that's where I want to move my sorting machine. So I click on that category, click OK, and give it a moment or two. And voila, the asset has moved from my user area. But now if we look up at our main browser, we see that there's a Vault Assets folder that's been added. If we double click on that, we look at our custom factory, we would probably have to refresh this. Oh. All right, take a second there. Click on here. And there indeed is our sorting machine. So we can place that directly from Vault just like we can any other asset. Now the second thing I'd like to go over besides just kind of getting these over into Vault, uh, we can look up here and we can look and see what this looks like inside of the Vault. So if I open up or expand this and then we look at this custom assets folder, you can see here there's the sorting machine. Had to business has been added. But there's also a couple other items inside of the Vault that are very interesting. For example, if you look at this factory asset, it looks at those factory asset files and it lets us know, oh yeah, here are the assets. And as we click on that, there is a where used. So let's go back to Inventor and let's push this into a layout. So we'll drag it in just like we would any other asset. Place this. <clears throat> go ahead and finish up that process and then we'll save and check in this layout. So, <clears throat> so if we come in here and we'll say sorting machine layout, hit save, and then we'll go ahead and check this in. So we'll check in the sorting machine layout. Um, I'll actually keep a local copy. Click OK. Oh, always a good idea to put a note in here. <clears throat> Click OK and it will send those files to the vault. So now what's really interesting is if we look at this, and again we refresh it, when we look at the sorting machine and the where used, now it tells us that it's being used in a factory layout, the sorting machine layout. So as we start working with assets, we can see where they're being used, and then if we have to go make a change, we can then see, oh, what layouts are going to be affected by this asset revision. And you can also look at the factory layouts as well and see what factory layouts are being used where and what's inside of them so you can see 
the sorting machine assets being used inside of this layout. So again, a couple little items here that you can look at. The factory asset, the factory asset layout. If you don't see it here, you can also look down here. You've got these sidebars that allow you to look at the layouts and the assets as well. So again, depending on which view you like, you can have different options there. So back to Inventor. So say we looked at the sorting machine and we realized, yeah, we can make this change. The sorting machine layout here, we're not going to change it. We don't care. Maybe that's an older layout, so we don't want to change what's already in the field. So to edit a factory asset, we would right-click on the sorting machine, for example, and we would choose the edit category. So once we hit edit, now we can come into the asset area and it's going to bring up a little bit different type of an asset editor where we actually save changes. So just for giggles, let's go ahead and add uh, something silly. So I'll just put a little box on top here. Sure, right here in fact. And we'll say that's a an 8 by 12. Maybe some little control panel or something will make it two inches deep. So we'll just add this little area here and then we'll come over to the asset editor and we click save. So what the save does is it, it allows us to update the asset that's within vault. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. As I have, I'm able to make this edit update the asset. So not every user will be able to do this. It's, ba it's explicitly set up through the vault permissions and so only users that have the proper vault permissions would be able to edit an asset like I've done. So I'm going to finish this asset editor and now as we look into our, um, <clears throat> let's go back to our vault, main vault, just to show how this looks. If we come over here to the vault, come in here, and now we place a second copy of the sorting machine. Uh, no. Oh, the layout. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out. That way I can place. You can see that we've got now a second copy. So, again, just a brief demonstration showing you the, the overall process for how Vault works with Factory Design Suite. There are still some nuances as far as how do you set the permissions, how do you set up the Vault to accept factory content. Again, we're not going to cover that today, but hopefully this helps give you an idea for how the Vault assets work within uh, the Factory Design Suite.